Hey, what's up my felines? It's been a solid minute, hasn't it? It's been a whopping two months since my last upload. Where have I been? What have I been doing? Well, good news, I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still here in my room developing Project Feline. Uh, recently, I've, I've taught Gabby some new moves. I've, I've taught her how to ledge grab and how to vault over short obstacles, and that's been quite fun. But what I'd like to talk about today is uh, the game's direction and the community. Longtime viewers will know, back in 2018, I started making devlog videos about Project Feline. And these videos were made before I even had the prototype, just sort of sharing what little progress I was making here and there. And that was really fun. It gave me a sense of progress to do those. And I felt it would be cool to look back at them in a year's time to see where I'd progressed from. And that's still something I think is very valuable for me about doing the videos. The thing is, I didn't really think anyone would watch them. And uh, over the last two years or so, my audience grew from just like a few hundred subscribers to over 70,000 subscribers. And I know that 70,000 might not seem like a lot in YouTube terms, but when I try and picture in my head a stadium of 70,000 people, it does overwhelm me a bit. And the thing that's kind of tricky about that is that these 70,000 people are coming to watch me make a video game. And a video game is a very complicated product. I think a lot of people look at games as a form of media or as a technological achievement. I've always seen them as creative works or artworks in a sense. To me, to develop a game is not just programming it together, but also getting a feeling an experience across to somebody and I think that is what's at the soul of a lot of creative works. And the thing about creative projects is that they go through some very chaotic phases. For a video game it'll go through such phases. It'll go through a pre-alpha phase which is usually very messy and chaotic and experimental. Prototypes are being made, design docs are being written, concept arts being done, um, ideas are just being thrown around. Um, after that phase though, when the dust settles, it will then enter alpha, where a lot of the content is then made and produced, and then in beta, that content is then tested, and then at that point, the game should then be ready for release. I'm still a bit far away from that stage, I'm still in pre-alpha. I want to make sure that when I get to alpha, when I get to production, that I know what the vision is and I know what I'm building. Um, but in order to do that, it's... Look, it's one thing to try and plan it on paper, but for me, I've always believed in a more practical approach. That's why over the last few years, you guys have seen me go through all that. You guys have seen me prototype and test and try things. Some of the longtime viewers will know that Project Feline started out as more of a third person shooter. And now, of course, it's, it's, it's developed into something very different. It's more akin to a 3D platformer with some parkour inspired mechanics. There's not even any weapons in the game anymore. And the thing that's very important about that pre-alpha stage, that conceptual phase, is you need to be able to ideate and you need to be able to have those ideas fail. I think having the space to do that is very important for that phase. And now that I have significantly more people watching my videos, I feel that it's harder for me to fail uh, because I know if I fail that 70,000 people are going to see it and it's overwhelming. And I think for the good of the game, I need to build some space around it so that it can go through that rough, I suppose you could call it a teenagehood, perhaps. It needs to go through that awkward phase of trying to figure out its identity. And I feel like to get in that position where I can have these ideas and test them and see if they work and allow them to fail, I feel like to build that space where that can happen, I need to change how I talk about it on YouTube. I feel like I need to detach a little bit from the realm of social media and dedicate more of my focus and time into the project. I think I've been quite lucky to be able to document my progress this often up until this point and this consistently. It was cool to share that with people. I really enjoyed sharing that development process. The thing is though, of course, is that not all the development process is always nice and pretty. And I feel like it's going to be very difficult moving forward to continue sharing it that openly with the public. So what I'd like to do going forward to spend more of my energy on the game is to just talk about it less until I'm ready to show more of what the game really is.
So what is that going to mean for the future? I'm still going to be working on the game, still making videos. It's just, I'm not going to be doing videos as often. So instead of once a month, it might be anywhere between three to six months uh, between videos. And the thing about that as well is that it's not just a matter of me wanting to work more on the game, but I want to show more substantial progress per video. If you'd like to know more specifics about where the project's headed, I do have the development roadmap up on the website. Now, granted, these goals will very likely change over the next few months because that's just how development is sometimes. It can be very chaotic, but I've tried my best to develop a comprehensive plan going forward. I'm very committed to finishing this game at some point. I want to share it with the world because uh, that's what I'm really passionate about doing. And that might mean spending less time on YouTube or on social media. And I think that is a worthy price to pay to get this game out. I am just one man after all. Um, as much as I'd like to be more active and be more of a YouTuber, uh, my interests are more in getting the game out. And as a fan of the game, I really want it to get finished. So that's sort of where I'm coming from. I wasn't really going to say anything about it, but I know that a lot of you guys have been following this project for a long time. I know I won't be able to talk about it as much going forward as often, so I thought I'd just get this all out now. It's 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 a it's a tough process making a game, um, and I think I'd be in a better position to talk about it once I've made some more progress. So until such a time, uh, I will be kind of in away from the spotlight, just working in my room here. I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who have been supporting these videos throughout the years. My Patrons will note as of a few days ago that I have closed my Patreon page. Um, and that is because the funds from Patreon were very helpful in getting me to put out monthly videos. But as I will no longer be doing videos monthly, I didn't really feel it was appropriate to keep that page open and charge monthly. So I wanna figure out some new kind of thing where I can charge on a per video basis instead of a monthly basis. Um, however, my Patreon account's a bit funny, so I'm gonna to have to figure out something on that regard. Um, but if you would like to support my work in the meantime, the best way you can do that is to check out the merch linked in the video description. It's the best way you can support the game because not only does it help me, but you also get a nice piece of merchandise in return. It's not mandatory by any means, but I do very much appreciate any support that people have been sending my way. Um, in the meantime, if you'd like to get any updates on the game in between my YouTube uploads, I'm still going to be posting GIFs and screenshots occasionally on my Twitter page, Instagram, and Facebook. I've now made dedicated pages for the game. So if you wanna see updates on the game, be sure to follow uh, the Project Feline account on those platforms. Thank you so much for following me throughout the years, and I will catch you at an indeterminate point in the future. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>